Hey guys, what's up? Dimebot here, and we are back in Microsoft Flight Simulator with my favorite Places to Fly series, and right now, we are over Japan. That's right, we are over Hanshu, Japan. Uh, that's Tokyo in front of us, but that's not actually why we're here, so I'm going to just bank us around here. Pull back on the throttle because we're about to rip the wings off this airplane and the game hates my altitude. So it's early afternoon in the game, about 7,000 feet here, and you guys can probably guess why we're here, or you know why we're here if you read the video description. So, and look at that lake, that's beautiful. Oh, hush yourself. Yeah, I want to be due west. Yep, there it is. So as you might be able to see over the clouds there, we're coming up on Mount Fuji. Everybody recognizes Mount Fuji. You've all seen the iconic pictures of it. It is the world's most recognized active volcano, probably. Yeah, it is an active volcano. In fact, I've got more trivia about it. It's the country's tallest peak at 3,776 meters. Uh, there are three sacred mountains in Japan. It is considered one of them. So, I, before the coronavirus pandemic, there were still pilgrimage hikes to the summit. I don't know if there are now, uh, but it is an absolutely gorgeous mountain, and I'm going to clear these clouds for us real quick. Bam. Hmm. Nice view. I wonder what this would look like around sunset. completely backlit, because we're going west. I know how weather works. And the sun. At any rate, this is certainly an interesting flight to take from Tokyo. It's not very long, as you can see. Tokyo is only about 50 nautical miles out, because we're still away from Mount Fuji. That is a big mountain. And it's worth noting, guys, that there's, there's a lot to see in Tokyo. Uh, there's a lot of landmarks. The Yokohama Tower comes to mind. It's a sprawling city. There's just a lot there to see. It's a cool area to fly around in uh, if you like to get down low and don't mind some of the glitchiness. But just heading out and flying west over the Japanese countryside is also pretty darn cool. It's a... Uh, well, I would say drop. Now well, I'm under 250 knots. It won't be for long, but... Yeah, as you can see, that thing just keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, I love seeing things like this in this game. Uh, you know, everything's not perfect from the satellite data, but I did a pretty good job with Mount Fuji. It looks, looks like it's pictures, which I should hope. And it's neat to see, much like when we were near Everest in the previous video, it's just neat to see these massive mountains and countries that we definitely can't travel to right now. You know, nice virtual tourism, get up close and semi-personal with them. But yeah, as we come up on the mountain, uh, I thought I would keep this one pretty short for you guys. Uh, just... There's not a lot to say. <laughs> this is an iconic mountain, and bam, there it is. So I would recommend making the flight from Tokyo to the mountain. Basically, you just take off and head west, as you can see, about 200, 270, 275. It's not a long flight. You can be there very quickly. And if you guys have suggestions or want to let me know your favorite places to fly, leave them in the comments down below. And if you want to come chat with us about Microsoft Flight Simulator, hey, there is a link to the Discord in the description below. Click that and come hang out with us. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Hit subscribe, hit like, hit the bell, do all the YouTube things like I always tell you to. My name has been Dimebot, and I will see you guys next time. Words are hard. <laughs>